In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to rig up the zero spill system on the VOP. Before you can rig up, always ensure you have the following ready to go. Check in with the company man, complete JSA and have tailgate meeting with all parties involved, have on all PPE and ensure it is all ready to go. Once you get the go ahead from the company man, you wanna start prepping all your equipment that is going to be used for the rig up. One person will start by putting the support bar together. To complete this, you determine the size you will need. Once this is determined, you will align the holes provided and put 916 bolts on the first and third hole, then tighten down with a 916 wrench. You want to ensure you have your bucket ready with at least four ratchet straps, six rope ratchets, ace clips, zip ties, and two inch duct tape. Next, you want to load the man lift with the equipment you need to take up to the BOP. Starting with the low pro, you want to load one half of each side facing inward. This will help later when it's time to hang the low pro. After loading the low pro, you will load the bucket of consumables, H seal, and your ace as well. Next, you need to go up on the man lift and determine any obstacles you may encounter during the rig up, such as, and not limited to, two inch lines, tie backs and turnbuckles, orbital valve, and any other lines coming into the BOP. For this rig up, it has been determined to place the low pro on the high drill due to obstacles in the way. This is the best setup for this rig up. Once you have determined where you're going to rig up the low pro, you will unwrap the H seal from the plastic. Handing the H seal over in a clockwise motion, you will start wrapping the seal around determined location. Once the H seal is wrapped all the way around the determined area, the next step is checking if the H seal needs to be cut to fit properly. Not all H seals need to be cut. You only cut the seals on a need to basis. When you must cut the H seal, you need to cut the H seal at a 45 degree angle to match the other half of the seal. This is done to prevent any gaps in the seal that may cause leaks from the system. After the cut to the H seal has been made, your next step is taping the H seal to stay in place. To accomplish this, you want to start from the right side of the H seal past the meeting point, placing some tape on the H seal. Then you pull the tape tight in a clockwise motion, handing it over to the person on the other side. You continue this until the H seal is deemed tight enough and will not slide up or down. We have now come to the next step, which is hanging the low pro. Using four rope ratchets, you hand two over to the person on the other side of you and keep two. Next, you will hang the ratchet portion of the rope ratchet on the eyelets of the BOP. Then you will both open one rope ratchet, each on the same side. Recommended hanging the first half of the low pro on the non-mouse hole side first. Your partner will then give you the hook end of the rope ratchet from his side. Once you have both ropes, you then will place the hook from the rope ratchet into the pre-drilled holes on the low pro. To have the best balance possible, you want to use the holes closest to the D-ring on the low pro. Next, you want to wrap the hook three times with the rope to prevent the hook from slipping out of the hole. After both hooks have been placed on the low pro, next you will slide the low pro out of the man basket slowly to the person on the other side. Using the rope ratchets, pull up on the low pro side and pull out the slack of the rope on the ratchet side. Do this until the low pro is set at the right height to be placed. Follow the same steps for the mouse hole side of the low pro to be hung. See an example clip on the next portion of this video. Once both halves of the low pro are set in place, you want to have one person loosen one latch, preferably the latch on the base so the low pro will not move. Next, you will loosen the rest of the latches and begin the latching sequence. 
First latching sequence starts from the outside ring of the low pro to the inner collar. Second latching sequence goes from the inner collar to the outer ring of the low pro, tightening each latch as you go. When latching is completed, you want to ensure there are no gaps and try to twist the low pro to make sure it will not move. Now you will secure the low pro by putting the ratchet straps on. Hang the four ratchet straps in the eyelets and connect them to the four D rings on the low pro and tightening the ratchet just enough for stability of the low pro. Once the low pro is secure, remove all four rope ratchets. Next step will be hanging the support bar. You will first need to determine the diameter size you will need for this rig up. The support bar can adjust from 10 feet to 16 feet in diameter. After you will determine where you want to hang your rope ratchets for support. Once a spot is determined, you will then take the ratchet side of the rope and hang it in the determined location. Once the right size is determined, pull the support bar above any obstructions. While holding one end, have the other person pull the other end around the BOP, handing you their end. Hold the two ends together in overlap to create the determined diameter, ensuring at least two holes are aligning for stability. Close support bar by using 916th bolts. Secure the bolts by tightening down with a 916th wrench. Hang the support bar at four points using the rope ratchets. Ensure they are evenly spread out. Pull up the support bar to a comfortable height to start hanging the ace. Hanging the ace is the next step. Start with the flow line sock panel and using the ace clips, hang the top section of the panel. Determine the height needed for the flow line sock to set properly. Once determined, open the sock portion of the panel and wrap it around the flow line. Tape the end of the sock around the flow line to prevent any leaks. After the sock panel is in place, start hanging the top portion of the ace to the support bar going in a counterclockwise motion. If there are any obstructions, determine how to best fit the ace around them. Once the top of the ace is hung, pull up the support bar to the determined height, then connect the bottom of the ace to the low pro using the grommets on the ace and the pre-drill holes on the low pro. Pull ace up all the way for a snug fit. After you complete hanging the ace, you will next put on the fittings and hang your hose. 
Depending on what style of low pro is being used, you will need to determine what type of fittings will be needed. If using a 45 degree fitting in cam lock, ensure you have the fitting disassembled and assemble on the low pro after it is hung. Take a rope ratchet and place the ratchet portion in the pre-drill holes on the gusset of the low pro next to the fitting. If a hole is not there, hang it on the top ring of the low pro. Take the hook end of the rope ratchet and tie it 10 to 12 inches below the cam lock on the hose. Utilizing the rope ratchet, pull on the hose and pull out the slack of the rope until the hose is at the desired height. Insert the cam lock onto the fitting of the low pro, then begin to lock the cam lock in place. Once locked into place, run the hose to the determined location. Once the rig up is complete, you need to ensure there are no leaks by doing a water test. Go around and look at the rig up to ensure everything is in place and working properly. Clean up any trash and take quality control pictures.